Hi my friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, I'm Trey. In today's video, we are making, have you ever been scrolling? You know, like scrolling on your phone, you're like, ooh, that looks good. But my toxic trait is I go to restaurants and I'm like, that was good, but I can do it better. <laughs> so when I show you this recipe, you're gonna be like, oh, I know where you, I know what restaurant you went to and you tried that. So. If you are interested in an easy weeknight meal that works for leftovers and meal prepping, all those things, make sure you keep watching, okay? I'm gonna start off by showing you everything I put, and this is over a two day, how do I say that? I marinated it the night before, and then I cooked it the next day. So I'm really excited to share this with you again. Thanks so much for being here. Let's get started. Okay, so here's everything that I'm going to put in the freezer bag and let it sit overnight. So we got onion powder, cumin, paprika, oregano, the black pepper, and salt. And it said garlic powder, but I don't have garlic powder. I have garlic salt. I'm out of garlic powder, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just use garlic salt. Just use a little bit of it so it won't be too salty. Um, and it does not ask for the adobo seasoning, but I am going to add it just a little bit because I like it. <laughs> so again, I'm going to use one can of these chipotle peppers, garlic salt, olive oil, onion powder, cumin, paprika, oregano, black pepper, salt, and the adobo. It did not ask for this. I will put all the like measurements and stuff in description box so make sure you check out down there but i'm about to put all this into a freezer bag sit it in the fridge overnight let it marinate and we'll see how it comes out in the morning okay so i'm just after i rinse the chicken out just putting it in the freezer bag and then i'm going to season it all up there we go it's in there. I'm gonna bring the seasonings over here so I can just pour over the sink so I'm not making more mess. Just put everything in the sink. First thing, I'm gonna add olive oil. Just a little bit in there. Get it all in there. Then, and something else that the recipe did not ask for, but I'm still gonna put, is a little bit of um, Worcestershire sauce, just cause I like, I feel like that always gives it a little more, gives it a little taste, a little extra seasoning. I'm just gonna put just a little bit, just like a cap full. So like I said, just a little bit. I can't even get it out. It's not much. I'm trying not to squeeze it because I don't want a whole lot in there. But just to add a little bit. See, just a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna add the garlic salt, the adobe pepper, with the peppers with this is the garlic salt. Putting that in there. Once I finish with something, I'm just gonna put it away. Gonna get the onion powder. Bring all of these over here. So we got the onion powder. And oregano. Sorry it's so loud, y'all. My dishwasher is going. So we got the oregano. If you're looking for some amazing little seasoning jars, they have the holes and then they have the wider opening, whatever you need. I got these off Amazon. I'll link them in my description box below. There's the oregano. And again, this is just for it to sit overnight. Have the cumin coming, however you say it. And 
and the paprika. I love having the glass jars because it really, really helps you to see what you have. And again, I will tell you what the instructions say, and I, because I'm not measuring, I'm very much just to wait until the ancestors tell me to stop type of person. But there's that. Then I'm gonna add the salt, pepper, and a little bit of the adobo. Adobo. Okay, a little salt. A little pepper. And a little bit of the adobo blend right here. So you can see it. A little bit of this. Then I'm going to pour the peppers, the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. And I'm gonna let those sit in there as well. Okay, everything is in. Ew, it feels so gross, but this is gonna, it smells so good, y'all. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna get that all like marinated. Make sure all the chicken is covered. Okay, I finished marinating everything and then I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and it's gonna sit there overnight. It said you can do it for six hours, but I was like, why not overnight? The longer the better, right? Okay, so I just got the grill out. I'm not gonna grill them outside because we're out of propane. So I'm gonna use this power smokeless grill. Um, I will link it in the description below, but I absolutely love it. Sorry, y'all. It's the, it's the evening. <laughs> the kids are home, but I cannot find the plugs. Let me find the plug. I'm looking under here to find the plug. All the mini little waffle makers, things like that. I am looking for the plug. So let me find that and then we can get started. This is my toaster. Maybe this is it. Let's see if this is it. Nope, that's not it. Okay, let me find the plug and then I'll come right back and we will get started. Funny thing is, old me always looks out for new me. There it was, the whole time. I'm sitting here tearing the kitchen up. Y'all taking every single thing out, looking for right there, where it should be. A great place for it <laughs> y'all I can't make this stuff up so I'm about to plug this in you plug it in well let me get everything back together first but he put hold on let me figure this out this goes here this goes here This goes here, making sure I'm layering it right. Yep, so this is the grill part, the power button. And right here, all you do is plug this in right here. You see this, plug it in there. There you go, sorry y'all. Plugging it in there. Plugging this in. Here. And it's on. So I put this in last night and I let it marinate overnight. It says you can just do it for four to six hours, but it's nothing like letting stuff marinate overnight. It smells so good. You saw all the seasons I put in it last night. 
Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. And to the power smokeless grill, y'all, I will link this grill in the description box. It is absolutely amazing. For when you don't want a grill, maybe you don't have a grill, you just want something easy and convenient. It fits, it fits right here on my island. Not too big. Amazing. Um, we're just out of propane. So I was like, man, we don't have propane. But I already got this meal <laughs> planned for the week. So I'm just tossing these on here. And again, this is the Chipotle chicken bowl. You saw what I seasoned it with last night. Really excited about this meal. This is my first time ever making it. But I saw it on TikTok. I think I saw it on TikTok. No, I saw it on Instagram. I saw it on Instagram. And that's where I'm getting the recipe from. I currently have it on about 425. I have it on 425 and it's sitting there. And I'm just going to close it up and let it do what it needs to do. Easy cleanup. I'm getting the, um, I always share this with my cleaning tip for the kitchen is I always run dishwater while I'm cooking. That way I can clean as I go. Um, so I got the dishwasher going from lunch dishes and more, a little bit of morning dishes. And I am just wiping off the counters, wiping off the table, preparing for dinner. Yeah. So that's it. So I'm using the great value black beans and the corn i'm gonna mix these two together i'm using two cans because i have a lot of extra meat so i'm using two cans of the corn two cans of the black beans mixing those in together i'm gonna drain them the recipe doesn't say that but i'm gonna drain them and we're gonna put those in this pan that's right here so yeah two corns two black beans here we go Here we are, and we're just flipping it over. It's so tender, y'all. Just like getting it off the grill, but without all the hassle of going outside. So easy. Look, and you even get the grill lines, which was my favorite part about it. <laughs> so there you go. Flipping that right over, and again, it's the power smokeless grill. I'm gonna let this other side cook for a little bit. We already have some that I'm just letting sit, and I'm gonna slice and dice these up since they've been sitting for a little bit. And I have a few more in the bag that I'm gonna put on here, but dinner can go ahead and get started. And then I'm cheating, and I'm using the Zatarain cilantro lime rice long grain rice with lime and spices so it has all the things it already needs i am gonna like razzle dazzle it up a little bit and add my own little seasonings but all you'd need with this is mix two and a half cups of water so i'm gonna make both boxes i don't know why the boxes look like that but <laughs> they came out they're still gonna be good i guess so again, Zatarain's is my favorite cilantro lime rice, long grain rice with the lime and spices. All I have to do is add the water. Much easier, especially when we're trying to just, it's a weeknight meal, which are trying to get done. So we're gonna just pour two and a fourth cups of water in there because the boxes mix two and one fourth cups. So I just mix four and two fourths. So two and a half cups in there um rice mix the rice in i'm gonna open up the beat up box <laughs> just comes in like that Get some scissors and all we're gonna do see it's like just like that you just pour it in the seasons and stuff are all at the bottom. There it is. I'm gonna open it up all the way so we make sure we get all those seasonings. So 
little onion powder. Again, I don't have garlic powder, so I'm using garlic salt just a little bit because I don't want it to be too salty. Chili powder. They said chipotle chili powder. I didn't see that, so I'm just using what I have. Cumin, cumin, however you say it. Just a little bit of that. Oregano. And again, I will link these in my description box if you're looking for some new um if you're looking for some new seasoning jars so this is the dobo i'm just put a smidge of that i just like accenting everything <laughs> so that's always a yes and you're gonna just mix that all in and make sure you add eight ounces of water too okay so we're gonna get that mixed in this is our beans and corn mixture okay we have about let's see this is my last three on there okay my last three on there and then we don't really need these I think that's just a pepper yeah these are my last three These are my last three. I'm gonna let those cook, but we can go ahead and start the rest of dinner. So we got the beans, got the cilantro and lime rice. I need to cover this. I didn't get it recorded, but I did add um, a little bit of butter in here. You can add butter or oil. I just added butter, but I need to cover this so that the water can soak. But we're almost done. I'm about to get the chicken and start slicing it up here on the, what is this called? What is this called, y'all? Cutting board. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. <laughs> so the rice is looking like it's, so the rice is looking like it's almost done. I'm going to add just a little bit of lime juice in here. Like I said, just to razzle dazzle it up. So I had some lime juice. There we go, razzle dazzle it up a little bit. I'm gonna add in a little bit of my own cumin, just because the recipe that the person um, had, they added all these things. Oh, that's my refrigerator yelling at me, y'all. Same clothes. But doesn't it look so good? And again, we're gonna just layer this so we're gonna have just like they do. So while I'm making dinner, I use this time to just sit and talk to my kids if they want to help me in the kitchen. Y'all, I did put the chicken in the oven on low just so it can stay heated up. Y'all, this cilantro and lime rice came out so good. Again, I just add my own little razzle dazzle and it tastes just like I made it fresh. But it was so good. Added that to the plate. Then I'm going to top it with that corn and black bean um concoction that we came up with and again we seasoned that and it's so delicious do you see the steam i had to like mute the sound because my kids were like running around like crazy and then i cut up the chicken thighs they were so tender and just so good like i was tasting a little bit while i was grilling y'all so don't judge me but they were so good and if you haven't guessed, this is Chipotle meal. Um, I was love, I love that I'm able to add extra meat. I'm able to add extra sour cream, even though we didn't have any sour cream, but I'm able to add as much as I want because I'm at home. I season it how I want to. I know it's made with love. And that is my favorite thing about making meals at home. <laughs> And dinner is served. Came out so good. So I got the rice, the black bean, and corn, and some cilantro. We're gonna have some sauce on here. Kids portion. My husband's looks way prettier than mine. And there we go. Brr. You know that feeling of making a recipe and you can't wait to try it? 
Y'all, I was so excited to try this out and I could not wait to show y'all. I wish you were here and I would make you some too. Y'all, it was so good, but it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed making this with you. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Until next time, you got this, Mama. Have a good day.